these scales are set up and configured from the scale selection. As I click on the scales selection, you will notice on the left hand side that there are two seed scales set up and eight different liquid scales. And now this may vary from system to system, but for this particular system, there are eight scales set up on the liquid side and two on the seed side. I will enter into the seed scale parameters so that it moves everything over to the right hand side. And the model is something that I will actually not go into as this will be set up for each scale hopper. So as you will notice, for this particular seed scale A, it's set up as KSI-MF80A. That means KSI Multi-Flow 80 unit scale A. And there's a scale B, and that would be our multi-flow system. So for example, I could also set it up for a KSI 300, and as you will notice, the capacity and the class will change accordingly. So these parameters are set up from the factory and will, ne will not be it need to be edited unless done so by a certified KSI controls technician. So for this particular example, I'm going to move down to the configuration and I will click on this database and then it'll populate what the seed scales are set up for. For seed scale A, the batch size is set up for 3,500. As you will notice, I will just bring this box down so you, you can see the capacity that I changed it to, and the reason why it changed is I changed it to a KSI 300 unit hopper. So this batch size needs to be set up underneath the 300 unit capacity so the seed does not overflow the scale hopper. The batch size is used by the system to determine the max draft size of an order. So for example, if an order of 28,000 pounds was created, it would need two drafts to complete that order. So we would bring in 14,000 pounds, release it, and bring in another 14,000 pounds and release it and that would fulfill that order. So if a order is created that is larger than the batch, the draft size is what we can call each time the scale gets filled up. The fill alarm is the time in which the scale is expected to fill. When the scale is not filled within this time, a signal is given to alert the operator that it is taking longer to fill the scale than expected. So for a larger scale, it may be higher, such as 700 seconds. For a smaller scale, it may need to be reduced um, to give that trigger earlier. Some of the examples that you know could trigger this alarm is a bulk bin may have ran out of seed, and it's just letting you know that you have no more seed from that particular source. The empty weight is once the scale weight goes below the empty weight setting, the system weights, so it'll move to, once it moves below 10 pounds, it'll, it'll wait until the empty time passes. So it would be five seconds after the scale goes under 10 pounds before the system will consider it empty. The discharge delay is set up um, for the discharge conveyor. So this will tell the discharge conveyor to run for an additional 15 seconds after the scale has been considered empty. Underneath, you will see scale gate KG290. That is for the particular scale gate on that system. Scale gate 290 is typically set up for seed scale A. Scale gate 292 is typically set up for seed scale B. So I will select scale gate 290 and check that. And this 
I will update as well. I changed the bat size to 14,000 pounds and the fill alarm to 500 seconds. So to update, I will press the pen to pad a paper. Seed scale B, as you will notice, is still set up for a bat size of 3,500 pounds and the fill alarm at 700 seconds. I want to point you in the direction of the scale gate where it says scale gate 292. So that seed scale B is always linked to scale gate 292. So the seed scales, that, that's the basic set of, setup of the seed scale and how you adjust those parameters if necessary. The liquid scale is typically doesn't isn't set up like a, like a seed scale. So a liquid scale is set up basically as just a scale with a name and an address and that's all that needs to be set up. So from a standpoint of a user there is nothing that needs to be edited or looked at from a liquid scale. That finishes up the scales. Mm -hmm.